This one's about putting 10 of our biggest bridges together all in one weekend, and then maybe putting like a little bit of a super size to it. Right now we're working eastbound and westbound lakeshore in each direction. So we're splitting the deck, we're, we're, we're moving in each direction so that we can try and expose as much steel as possible so when the heavy cranes come in, we can start lifting down the structural steel. Everyone is involved with this from, from the office to to the labors, to, to the project management, to the estimating, to the operations, to the superintendents, and it's just amazing to watch everything come together. It's like everybody knows exactly what we're doing here. The big thing here is doing it safely, and one thing you can say is everyone's watching each other's back. So to me, that's, that's what we call teamwork. Well, this morning I spent a few hours in one of the machines just because it was, somebody had to go underneath the bridge first, and I thought it might as well be me, so. I always like operating equipment. It's a big structure. Obviously, it's very exciting for everybody. Uh, this is the Garden Express, a staple of the city, so everyone is excited to be part of that. Uh, one of the main components of this success is going to be communication. Everybody's going to do their part, we are got to communicate in order to accomplish the goal, which is to take the bridge down safely and in a timely manner. Obviously this is a big job, so I'm just excited to be here and be able to try and learn as much as I can from a big job like this. Be in this kind of environment with my dad and my uncle and also my cousin, um, I think it's something that's really special about this company is that there's a lot of families that get to work here and work together and you see a lot of generations working together, which is always cool. Ah, it's going great. Yeah. It's got the site now, ready to rock and roll. Oh, boys are doing great, can't complain. Like, everybody's doing their, as much as they can, as big as they can, giving all they can get. This is massive, massive job. I'm just gonna guide the trucks downstairs while the boys are up here breaking on the slab. To be on the west end there, we're gonna uh, hook the crane up, get it rigged up for uh, starting to lift steel beams on the west side of uh, the gardener. She all happens at dark.
I think everybody's excitement level is through the roof at the start of a job. But once you get into it, it everyone sort of calms down and settles into play. And then once everyone sort of gets a bit of a routine going, then everyone gets really good with a flow, right? So, you know, you, you, you can break something down in a big hurry, but then you got to clean it up in a big hurry. So, and it's a sort of a step-by-step -step or stage process. We have to segregate all this material. We can't put the steel with the concrete. We can't put the rebar with the concrete. We got to separate it all out. We got to manage it. We got to load it in trucks. The trucks got to go underneath hydro wires. They got to go out onto a live traffic road to get into the yard. We got crane staged so we can't go down this way with the crane or with the trucks anymore rather this weekend. So it's, it's logistically it's a very challenging project. And I think everyone's going to be very happy when it's done. get hyped to do a job like this. It's never been done before. We're all proud to be part of Priestley and we're all proud to be successful for us and for Priestley. So when we started it was like all hands on deck sort of thing and you know we've learned as we've gone along and I think we're at a really comfortable spot now. Part of it is watching, part of it is learning and a big part of it is doing and like I love it all. Like it's, it's amazing. Every job I come to it seems like it gets bigger, better and more complicated. This weekend, we've been able to finish the, and complete the deck demolition to the east, while also removing concrete vents east of the Don River, as well as removing girders west of the Don River. One of the really nice things about weekend number two here at the Gardener is that we took anything that we could improve upon from weekend number one and really put it into play for this weekend. So production's really, really moving along. Everyone's quite comfortable, their second weekend here, and it's, it's truly seamless at this point.
I'm involved pretty early on in the process. I help to choose the project team, make sure we have the right people on the job. Um, in this case, we have basically a, a dedicated bridge team that was assigned to the Gardner project. The Gardner demolition would be the largest single structure bridge demolition that we've estimated and, and performed. I don't think there's another company out there who could undertake such a massive demo in the, in the short amount of time. Our engineering team really allows us to do the work safely. There's a focus on getting the work done quickly, getting the work done as efficiently as possible, but the bottom line is the work has to happen safely. So on the engineering side of things, we've started off with 3D scanning. From there, we've 3D modeled it, and then based on a lot of the information there and using a combination of the information from the scans and the drawings, we've calculated and done our analysis of the actual Gardner Bridge, as well as a couple of things below it to make sure that our demolition is done safely, efficiently, as well as to make sure that we've done all our engineering checks and balances. Uh, well, for this job, as it's a huge job, we need to create a model with the highest level of detailing, which kind of uh, brings a lot of efficiency to the project. The main consideration is time. So it's a lot of bridge to demolish in a very short window. It's about pushing the limits and being safe doing so. The engineering department isn't finished until the demolition is done. On this project, we'll be using 10 pieces of equipment up on top on the bridge deck. We'll have um, just as many down below, working on protection, cleanup, craning, rigging, offloading, transporting uh, all the rubble as it's generated in the beams and the steel and stockpiling. As the materials generated through the course of the first weekend, there's going to be a lot of concrete produced from the breaking of the deck. That will be staged on site just to keep uh, work flowing efficiently. I think the challenge of this project is going to be great for the team overall. I think we've had a really good time, you know, bidding this project. Now we're enjoying planning this project and, and resourcing this project so that it goes off flawlessly. It's, it's just a true testament to the people at Priestley to be able to perform this project on time safely. Yeah.